guys, I've had like six shots of sake at this point, so if I say anything weird, I'm blaming it on the sake. Okay, so I got this pen and I got these containers from Coles as well. They were doing a discount, it was 30% off. I did notice that Big W was doing 50% off, but a lot of them are already out of stock. So, so yeah, I really like these because you can stack them however you wish. And like, they have different sizes as well, but I thought the most appropriate size, the most fitting sizes are probably these ones. So yeah. So it is almost December and this year I'm going to be doing something called Vlogmas. If you don't know what it is, it's essentially where you vlog every single day until Christmas. And that's what I'm intending to do. I'm gonna change the rules just a little bit. I'm gonna vlog every weekday. Essentially, there'll still be 19 to 20 vlogs in the month of December. And what I really wanna do is, I wanna to go to places that you guys recommend. So we'll be going to at least one new location every single day. It can be cafes, it can be restaurants, it can be like dessert locations. So feel free to leave me a comment on places you want me to visit or send me a DM on Instagram on places you want me to go. Okay, what do you think? Do you think this will stay on? Occasionally, I get invited to restaurant openings or when a restaurant has a new menu, I get invited to try the, the food there. Not because I'm a professional food reviewer or I write for any publications or I'm a restaurateur. Restaurant? Can't even say it. But purely because I have this YouTube channel. And honestly, I think it's super cool. And so tonight, that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm heading to a place in Darlinghurst. It is like a small sake bar. It is called Nomi Dokoro Indigo. I hope I pronounced that right. And the owners of this restaurant, they actually own a few other restaurants in Sydney as well. A couple of which we've actually been to, including Nakano Darling and also Yakitori Yuripi. So I'm super, super excited to go see this place and see what the food is like. Okay, the first course that we have is a John Dory sashimi and we have a sake as well. There's some like liver as well. Did I just eat the liver on its own? <laughs> Oh, very interesting. It's like a condensed fish flavor. These are addictive. What she said, it's crispy and it's very good mommy. So the third course is tamago. This is massive. I feel like there's like probably like six eggs here. I'm gonna do my best to try and finish as much as possible. I've got a knife. It's got dashi, that's homemade. Um, we've got some radish on the side as well. And this is paired with another sake. So each of these dishes has a pairing sake. I didn't drive today. So that was a good decision on my part. Super fluffy. I'm very umami, and I can taste all the different layers. I mean, I can feel all the different layers. Say. Next up, we have 
clam soup. This soup has sake in it as well. And of course, we also have sake to pair it. It is this one. Oh, wow. How come it tastes so creamy? Yeah, creamy. Yeah. But then it's so, it doesn't look creamy. What do you add to it? Is it clams, sake? Clams, sake. Yes, I will. Okay. Take it also butter and garlic. Oh, right. Okay, that makes sense. This is clams, sake, butter, garlic. Oh, is this the pairing yeah. with this one? Ah. Oh. oh wow. Both for me. I thought this was a standalone drink, but it's meant to be paired with the scallops. item is a duck. It's marinated with a house-made miso and it's been cooked for 24 hours. And the sake that they recommend you pair it with is a suge sake. I don't know why I said it like that. Suge sake. Guys, I've had like six shots of sake at this point. So if I say anything weird, I'm blaming it on the sake. This is delicious. You know what would go really well with this? A bowl of rice. I feel like I don't know how to appreciate sake well, so I'm going to say this is incredibly smooth because that's what it is. It's like drinking water. Okay, this next item is a miso cream cheese. I can't say I've ever had that before, but I'm very curious. <laughs> this is delicious. This is dangerous. It's like slightly smoky, but it's creamy and savory from the miso. Rice bowl. It's got bonito flakes on top and it's got bonito flakes on the inside as well okay i'm seven sakes in and at this point this is starting to taste like water i swear this is water is this this is sake right okay it tastes like water All right, guys, we gotta head out soon. We're heading to an event. This is gonna be an interesting one. This is at the Langham. And let me just have a look at the invite again. Come on, come on, come on. We are gonna be learning about dry aging meats and some cocktails and canapes. So the staircases that you see right there, these are like the wooden, um, the wooden boards in the escalator that used to be at Wynyard Station. But now they are a piece of art. I used to hate those wooden escalators because my heels would get stuck in between the gaps. It was the worst. I love that it's currently daylight saving. It just feels like my days are now significantly longer just because there's an extra few hours of light. I don't know, I don't know if you feel the same. Okay, this is a Wagyu nigiri with caviar on top. Mm, this is so good. So tonight's event is we're kind of learning about the suppliers to the Langham, like Kitchens on Kent. And so we got to see some of the meats and how they cut it. The food that we had was delicious. I had, we had so many different like beef style dishes. I'm getting a little bit hungry, so hopefully, hopefully there's like more food that comes. I can't say I've ever had emu before. This is 
the first time I've ever tried it. If you didn't tell me this was emu, I would have been like, that's an interesting protein. Okay, this beef wellington is so good. It's like so crazy tender. You'd be able to eat this with no tea. So, so good. What do you think of the beef wellington? Um, yeah, it's really good. It's very tender. And um, I think there's a bit of like red wine sauce in it as well. And the pastry is really flaky and done really well as well. That was such a good review. You can <laughs> check out her Instagram right here. This is crocodile. It tastes like chicken. I think it tastes a lot more uh, muscular. Yeah, it's like more to chew than chicken. Chicken's a lot softer. I think even chicken breast is softer than this. Yeah, this is more like tough. The flavor is interesting. I don't know how to describe it, but it's different. <laughs> I've just arrived at a restaurant called Toki, which I've never been to. It's in Surrey Hills. I've seen some pictures and I've looked at the menu prior. It looks like the food's going to be pretty good. We're debating between whether to go for like the feed me menu so we don't have to think about what to order. But I think like firstly we'll get drinks first. What do you think? You're meant to answer. Because then people think I'm just talking to myself. You are talking to yourself. <laughs> Let's get drinks first. I'm going to get something with lychee. Either that or yuzu. These are my two favorite types of food and drinks. Cool story. So my friends have decided to get ice cream at a place called Anita in Chippendale. Okay, so my friends got pistachio and banana caramel and my other friend has got mint choc chip, which I actually don't understand that flavor at all. It just tastes like toothpaste. It's like frozen toothpaste. Feel free to disagree with me in the comments. All right, that is pretty much it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching till the end. We are going to be spending a lot of time together in December, so let me know of places that you would like me to feature, and I'd love to check it out. And also, make sure you turn on my notification bell and also subscribe to this channel so you know exactly when I upload. So yeah, thank you again for watching till the end. I post new videos every week, except in December. It will be almost every day. So check them out if you have time. Have an amazing rest of the week. And I will see you in my next video next week. Bye. Going to be a demonstration. And some cocktails and canapes. Exciting at Kitchen on Kent at the Langham, which I've actually done a video on it before when I went for the buffet.